Hi, I'm Jeffrey Stiefel. I'm the executive producer of The Lord of the Rings Online, and today we're going to talk about our new exciting legendary item system that's coming with our expansion, The Mines of Moria. The concept of legendary items has been around since the early days of Lotra development, and we're really excited that in Moria we're able to finally bring it to life. And with some examples from the books like Glamdring and Sting, uh, we really have some exciting examples to lead us the way. Up until now, the best weapons in Middle-earth have been created by developers here at Turbine and been really available only through some set objectives in the game. Well, with the legendary item system, you now have the ability to create your own custom-crafted items and evolve your own unique, powerful weapons through the system itself. We achieve this ability to customize by randomizing the legacies on that particular item and allowing you to customize that item to suit your needs in the game. Now you can advance these items by slotting the relics and titles that give you the bonuses that you want most for your item. Now all this randomization and the choices you'll make along the way means that sometimes you'll get an item that isn't exactly what you want. Now these aren't wasted finds because you can take these to the auction house and auction them off for their legacies, or you can deconstruct them into individual relics that you can then take and use on some of the other items that you're working on. We also have things called heritage runes. So a heritage rune allows you to recover half of the experience points that you've gotten on a particular weapon, even if you deconstruct it. Since you have up to six legendary items that are bound to you that you're working on at any one time, um, there's plenty of opportunity for you to create the right tool for the right job. So you can have a lot of different new tools available to you based on the weapons that you're creating and advancing. One of the things about the system that's so great is that it can be experienced by a solo player. In fact, almost the entire experience is solo mode. We wanted to make sure that all the advancement and end goals were available to a non-raid player. Now this doesn't mean that raiding guilds are left out. The legendary item system is involved throughout Moria. So any raids and large encounters are going to yield you bonuses and items and things that are relevant to the entire system. So regardless of the way you like to play the game, when you get into Moria and start playing with legendary items, you're going to have a great time. We'll see you in Moria. Rated T for Teen.